asking the German society about acceptance, we could see that they would uh, agree in very high uh, positions to the item, Muslim making demands in Germany are acting in their right. So 70% of the population would say, yes, they are acting in their right. So this means that they have understood this big part of the German constitution where it says that minorities are equal to majorities by claiming rights in democracies. So uh, we know that, and people say that, they understand and they know that this is a democratic value. But on the other side, when it gets concrete, and we ask them about ground values, about values like religious freedom, which is Article 4 in the German Constitution, we could see we had 70% saying, well, they can do demands. But then we have 60% who would prohibit circumcision if they could. We have 50% who want a prohibition of the headscarf for, for teachers. And there are 40% who would like to have uh, no more mosques built any longer. So this contradictory part shows us that people in some how are not aware about what democracy means. And there is a kind of a normative paradox that people say, well, I like diversity, yes, I like diversity, unless it's not about Muslims, Roma, Jews, um, people with no work, uh, and I don't like disabled people to be close to me. I mean, I'm just making that up a little bit harsh, but the idea of diversity is a very, very complex idea that is not an idea that you just get into it because you are born in a diverse society. You have to get to learn it, like you have to get to learn to be a Democrat. Only by being born in a democratic society doesn't make you a Democrat, as we can see in all these new parties rising up who have clearly anti-democratic positions. And this idea of approaching diversity by terms of education is something that has to be placed and has to be learned in the society. It has to be a educational tool and a value that has to be learned in schools, but also has to be placed publicly more, more open and more broad. <laughs>